Are you going to start talking or am I? Good morning! Good morning. Uh, oh, I was going to say oh, Go on, then. you go for it, you go for it. Today we are at a sacred centre. A sacred centre? Yeah. Okay. I don't <laughs> read signs. I, I just ignore them. This is called, although I do need to remember the name of it, Balburnie Stone Circle. Um, Mazzy suggested this place about a week ago when we were planning his route. Got to be quick here because we're parked in a bit of oh my god, we're parked in a very oh bad god. place and there's a bus coming. Hang on a minute. Maz is off. Can the bus get through? You better do. How embarrassing. Why did you make me park there? That's why I'm hiding here. Hiding it's behind the stone. Here. That's what that's why they built this stone circle. So you can hide behind it from the main road. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, we'll be very quick. It's a stone circle. Um, it's just an unusual one. You've got these things in the middle here, which I've never seen in a stone circle. That looks like a grave. And then a big square. What's going on, Mazzy? Do we know? I don't know. And two more of them. And then surrounded by these stones. It's not the biggest stone circle, but, you know, it's unusual. And some of the stones like that one's huge. Not so much in height, it's about six foot tall, seven foot tall, but it's thick and it's uh, wide. But they have found, I think, about 16 burials here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're going back. It's an old one. When was this? 2,700 years BC, something like that. So it's an old one. And they've excavated it a couple of times. And I think they found 16 cremates 16 people did they find bits. anything else cool they did find other things yeah enlighten <laughs> all right if you want to know i'll tell you <laughs> so amongst the objects which they found are a flint knife as well as jet button and jet beads that's a little black stone which is you get on the east coast of england in just a small part near whitby it's not available in most places around here. Um, and a complete food container. That's unusual, isn't it? What, like a lunch Like box. a plastic lunch box, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, and yeah, signs of bodies. But that gets me onto the question, because people keep saying, what are stone circles actually for? Nobody seems to know. But if they found burials here, they found burials at Stonehenge, Surely that answers your question. They are for burials. They must be. Um, but yeah, it's nothing special. We're just passing. Thought we'd see it because this is different. I've never seen this before in a stored circle. Right, let's move this van before someone plays out yeah, with us. Yeah, man. So we've arrived in Cacaldi. I've got good memories of Cacaldi. Came here when I was about 19 and stayed with a friend, there was about five of us, stayed at this lad, Scottish lad's house who lives in Cacaldi. And I was introduced to loin sausages, which to you guys is square sausages. They're the future. I first found out about them right here in Cacaldi. And something which is also quite ironic, really. First place I've taken you to is called uh, Raven's Craig Castle. You know why it's ironic? No. Because I came with Craig. Oh, you're, you're funny, yeah. <laughs> I came with Craig, but I didn't know about the castle back then. Um, we've just been saying we're doing too many castles and churches, but uh, it's just what's been available, unfortunately. We're going to try and mix it up again soon, I think. Get more vloggy. It's getting The channel's getting a bit stale. I think we both agree on that, don't bit, we? Bit, in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to... Can't do anything about it today. Don't know what that is out there. Can you see it, Mazzy? Yeah, I don't know. It's like a little shipwreck or yeah. something. So the only boring history I'm going to give you is that it they started building it in 1460 and it was captured by Oliver Cromwell's troops in 1651. That's all I know about it. That's all I'm going to tell you, unless we find things on information boards. It's just an exploring thing. But it looks quite good for a free castle, doesn't it? Yeah. We can actually walk in over the drawbridge thing.
She'll be there for four hours. <laughs> Seems like you can get in. I just. I think it'd be easier to get in if you could. Oh, okay. And what a view down to the beach. Castle's right on the cliff edge here. Oh, have you seen that butterfly down there, Mazzy? I just saw a butterfly in there and it was like the size of a cat. It was the biggest butterfly you've ever seen in your life. I don't know where he's gone. But yeah, this is all right, but very restored, you can tell. You know, these, these aren't original gates. They can't be. And up here, it's nice, don't get me wrong. No information, oh, there is another information board over here. But this is what I like to see, this looks more original. But it's quite clear, a lot of the castle has fallen off the end of the cliff here. What do you think these rooms will have been for? I don't know. You're going to tell us though, aren't you? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm asking. A big bath at the end, that's quite cool. I think it's the views, what are better than anything, don't you? Well, it seems like to me that the castle goes, continues. What is all that ancient e looking for? Yeah, I don't know. It's Seems a bit like the Chinese there. wall going all the way around. Maybe it was like a, the castle here and you had castle walls going all the way around Kakaldi or something. So they do that in York and a few other cities and towns. Maybe. You know what you stood in front of now, don't you? Hot tub. I was just going to say a hot tub. <laughs> it looks just like a hot tub. Big stone hot tub outside the castle overlooking the sea. Yep, yeah, that's definitely what it must have been. We can't work out what that wreck is. If anyone knows, please tell us. It could be a submarine. It looks a bit submarine, doesn't it? Yeah. And in yeah. the distance behind it is that Edinburgh Rock. Never been in Edinburgh, so I don't really know what Edinburgh Rock is, but I think there's a castle on top of a big mound, and that looks like a big mound in the direction I would guess Edinburgh is in. I don't know, I don't know. So this information board gives you a really good idea of what it would have looked like. I knew it would have looked fantastic. You can tell. It looks really nice. This is like a courtyardy bit in the middle here. But you've got like this, it's like a terrace, row of terrace houses. And it went right to the end, which will have been just on the end here. Maz has noticed in the in the dis distance there you've got a well I call them a dovecote dovecote but it says ducot here where they'd keep pigeons in there and it says it would provide a source of meat and eggs and then Mazzy read this it says something about with a bedroom on the top floor so <laughs> she was thinking it's a bedroom for the pigeons up on the top of that but it's actually talking about the castle <laughs> There was a bedroom on top, but uh, I can see where you're coming from. It's a shame, but we can't get into the tower, which looks really good. And um, that's all locked up. It's obviously a bit too dangerous. But that doesn't deter Mazzy. She'll keep trying and trying and trying, won't you? This room looks cool. It's a big shame a lot of these rooms are sealed off because this one looks quite cool. You've got some what look like ancient bricks and stone and masonry in there. I'm sure you can get guided tours and they'll open it up for you. For special people who pay a lot of money. You know, like Americans, they love to come over to England and Scotland and pay a fortune to go in all the castles. Is it just me or did I just see a pigeon yeah. going down the corridor? Yeah. <laughs> you can see how there used to be a moat going around this castle. That'd be, they should fill this with water, it'd look fantastic. How it used to be. But I wonder what hidden treasures there could be hidden in there, in the little cracks and stuff. I'm stood in the bottom of the moat now, and something's kicking off here, something's been happening. There's two holes there, I think they've been excavating. I think this, uh, this is archaeologists' work. Look, they've got these, like, hessian sacks over wooden things, and it looks like they've been sifting through this, or am I completely wrong? 
I don't know. And then you've got these sacks here with these stones on top, which I'm not seeing anything exciting. It looks like modern concrete to me, I'll be honest with you. And so does that. So I don't know what's going on here. Any ideas? It's got to be something to do with them all over there. So I'm walking in the moat now. In the moat, looking in the cracks. Seeing what we can see. Seeing what we can find, what treasures lie waiting for us. Nothing, absolutely nothing, that's what. Some people are probably going to ask the question, Mazzy. Yeah. Why? You know, it's, it's, it's a nice day weather-wise. It's, yeah. it's not too bad. It's not raining. Yeah. It's not sunny. Yeah. So why are you carrying an umbrella and wearing it sunglasses? Was spitting. It was spitting just now. <laughs> And I wear sunglasses all the time because the light hurts my eyes. The light and, hurts your eyes? Yeah, and I've suffered with that for years. Okay. But it's not raining. <laughs> it was raining! It's it not was raining. Spitting. Right, you've got me with my glasses on tonight. Because <laughs> it's the middle of the night, I've been dragged out. You're, where on earth have you brought me? You're lovingly taking me to somewhere special. I'm taking you where you want to go. Where do you yeah. want to go? See some pretty lights. Pretty lights? Yes. Would you like to extend that to a bit more detail? It's called the Kelpies. The Kelpies? Yep. And what's the Kelpies? Two huge horses. They're huge. Two big horses? Yes. In Falkirk? Yes. Which light up in, in the dark, so instead of seeing them through the day, Mazzy decided we're going to see them at, <laughs> at night, which this camera's useless in the dark. So we're going to have to transfer over to the uh, other phone to get the pictures, I think. And there they are. Right, can we go now? No, come on! So we're right in the middle of them now. And I didn't know, well, I, I didn't know much about these until this morning, I'll be honest with you. Um, but there's a canal runs through the middle of them. Two locks. This isn't a canal I'll be walking on, guys, by the way. Yeah, the horse changes colour, by the way, people. It goes yellow and green and blue and green and stuff. And we don't like yellow, do we? It's quite dull. It's nice. But, Mazzy, come on. We've been here. We've been a good half an hour now in dark looking at a bit We've of a We've been horse. trying to take a selfie of us, and it's really difficult because there's no light in particular. It's terrible. There? Just trying to see what's inside the horse. <laughs> if you've ever wondered what it looks like inside a horse. It's not quite how I imagined. No wonder I don't eat horse meat. 